This is Nick Orlando with Core AI. Welcome to this video about API integrations on the Core platform. Connecting to backend systems can often be required as part of intent fulfillment within a virtual assistant. The user may need to perform actions that require either pulling information from these systems in real time or updating information based on user inputs. On the core platform, API integrations can be done by using a service node inside a dialogue task. In this video, we will continue with the order status task we created within our shopping virtual assistant in the last video. If you haven't yet seen the previous video for, um, for that, I would recommend you check that out before you proceed with this one. All right, so as you can see, we are back in the order status dialog and within this, we would be connecting to the Shopify API to retrieve our order status. Let's go ahead and identify the point at which this integration is required. Immediately after the virtual assistant collects the order ID from the user using this entity node, we are ready to use this order ID to find its status from Shopify. So let's add the bot action node and expand it. Then click on the plus icon to add a new service node. Then click on the service node to configure it. Under the subtype property, we have support for either REST or SOAP services. If you're trying to connect to a SOAP web service, you can toggle the subtype to SOAP for that scenario. For now, for the Shopify API, select REST and under request definition, click on edit request to configure the API details. On the screen that opens up, the first thing we want to be configuring is the request type. For the order status API, we want to make a get call. This can be selected from this dropdown on the top left. Then towards the right of it, we can put in the API URL. I have my Shopify orders API copied and we can simply paste that in. It's worth noting that if you want to connect to your Shopify account, you would need to create a merchant ID on, Shopify, on the Shopify website and obtain your store name and domain name, which can be used to get the base URL for your API. In our case, we're using the demo team store, and this is reflected in our API URL right here. Two query parameters that are needed are the name, which is actually the order ID and the status. In this use case, as part of the dialogue task, we are capturing the order ID from the user with an entity node. So instead of providing a hard-coded value for order ID, we can make use of the context variable that stores this particular entity value and provides that within the API URL. As for the order status, we don't know the order status yet, so in this case, we can just set the status parameters to any. Next, we need to configure the headers. We need two of those. The first one is content type, and that can be set to application slash JSON. The second header is much more important because that tells the Shopify endpoint that this user or app is authenticated and genuine. For that, we need to pass on the Shopify access token. You can get your access token by creating a merchant ID on Shopify. As stated earlier, Doing so not only gives you a store name and a domain name, but also provides you with certain API keys and secrets that can be used to connect your Shopify account with third-party apps, such as the core virtual assistant. These keys and secrets can be used to obtain a permanent access token. Once you have the access token obtained from Shopify, put that in as part of the header, and now we are all set to go. Before we actually exit out of this screen, let's do a quick round of testing. Let's go to the test request screen that allows you to test out the API by providing a sample order ID. Let's put in a sample order ID, click on test, and if everything has been configured correctly, we should now see the API returning the details for this order. There you go, that's incredible, excellent. So now that our configurations have been provided and tested, at this point, we can click on save and go back to the dialogue test. And that's it. It's so simple to do this and it makes, it, makes for such robust functionality and a phenomenal customer experience. Let's try this out. We can talk to the virtual assistant by clicking on this talk to bot icon on the bottom right. 
Then I say something like, I want to check my order status. As expected, the assistant acknowledges that and asks for my order ID. Let's put that in. Let the API work its magic, and there it is. I can see the details of my order. That's amazing. This is how easy it is to configure APIs and backend integrations on the core platform without writing any code. Using this, you can easily make dynamic API calls as part of your intent fulfillment to help the user get the information that they are looking for or to update backend systems with new values obtained from the user. And that's all we have for this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.